Hey guys, so I'm starting off by adding the Blueberry Bliss Reparative Leave-In Conditioner to my wet hair. I just washed my hair, so it's soaking wet, and I'm just making sure to work the product all throughout my strands. Then to seal in the moisture from the leave-in, I added my El Natural Light Oil Mist, and I'm going to work that all throughout my strands as well. Then to prep my hair to air dry, I get a nice big piece of hair and section it off. I go ahead and detangle the section using my detangling comb. This comb is from Conair and I absolutely love it. I'll leave the link in the bio to where you guys can find it. I separate my hair into two pieces and then I twist it down. Then I'm left with a nice, chunky, juicy twist. After I twisted up my hair, I let it air dry for about two to three hours. So this is how my twists look after I let my hair dry for about 3 hours. My hair is still pretty damp, so I'm going to go ahead and add the Blueberry Bliss Twist and Shout Cream to a section of my hair and I'm going to smooth it in. After I work the product into the section, I'm going to use my tangle teaser so I can make sure that my hair is really smooth and it has no tangles whatsoever. Then I split my hair into three equal pieces, well as equal as I can get them because I was having trouble making my pieces equal, but as long as they are about the same size then you'll be fine. Then I tightly grabbed the pieces at the roots and I proceeded to braid my hair down. Braiding tightly at the roots will help ensure that your roots aren't puffy and they're nice and smooth. You want your braid to be as smooth as possible so I use my tangle teaser to make sure I don't have any lumps or bumps. I braid my hair down until there's about an inch left in my ends and then I add Eco Styler Gel to my ends and smooth that into the section. Then I get my white perm rod and I smooth the end of my hair around the perm rods making sure that it's super smooth and I have no bumps and then I roll it up in a spiraling motion. So let's look at the process again. I smooth the twist and shop cream into a section of hair. Then I detangle it with my tangle teaser. Then I get three equal pieces of hair and I braid it tightly at the roots. Remember to detangle your hair as you braid it down and you're trying to keep your section as smooth as possible. So detangle as you need to so that you don't have any bumps or lumps. Then about an inch from the end, I add Eco Styler Gel and smooth that into the section. And if you need to, you can use a rat tail comb that helps with the smoothing. Afterward, I get my white perm rod and I make sure that my hair is smooth before I start rolling it up. And I roll it up in a spiraling motion and then I move on. And then I move on. When I was done, I had about 18 braids in my head. I applied my satin bonnet and I let my hair air dry overnight. Hey guys, so it's actually the next afternoon. I wanted to make sure that my hair was fully dry because braid outs take a lot longer to dry than um, twist outs. So I'm adding coconut oil to my hair so that it's not frizzy at all. Then I'm gonna go ahead and start taking out my braids. When taking down your braids, make sure you're as gentle as can be because you can create frizz very easily. So a little trick that I do is try to get two pieces of hair so I can pull them apart and the braid can just unravel itself. That makes the process a lot easier and it makes it quicker because taking out braids is a lot longer than taking out twists. I just realized that. I love how shiny and curly the braids were that I took down, so I'm just going to go ahead and take down the other side. Boing! <laughs> then I'm going to go ahead and separate my hair a little bit more. Make sure you're very careful because I was discovering that as I was pulling my hair apart, it was creating frizz. So I'm not going to pull apart each and every piece of hair. I'm just going to kind of just look and feel and see where I want to fluff out my hair. Then instead of using my pick today, I'm going to use my fingers instead to fluff out my roots. Mm -hmm. 
after I'm done, I give my hair a quick little shake. And these are my results, you guys. My hair was so soft. It was so bouncy. It was so curly. I love these results. Thank y'all for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.